I'm sorry. I forgot to say something that I meant to say in the last vid, which was the issue of not telling directors no. Listen, I only recently learned that there was a fight scene in one of the more recent Star Wars movies. Not that shit with Daisy Ridley. I mean the Ots one, the Oddies ones. Um, one through three. Okay, where Palpatine was fighting the Jedi Council, okay? What happened was, it was this super involved, super well choreographed, super awesome fight, okay? Where a stunt double would be doing all the stunt work, all the, the lightsaber shit, okay? All of it. And they would only get to the guy who was playing Palpatine in close-ups. I don't have a sword. In close-ups, you know, when he would be like, he would be like, ah, okay. So, they had this other guy who was going to do that fight scene. All right, and 20 fucking minutes before they were gonna shoot, Lucas showed up and he understood what was going on and he was like, no, no, no. We're gonna have Palpatine, the guy who plays Palpatine, he's gonna do the fight scene. Instead of this guy who has been training literally his whole life to do this scene. Because I want it to be that way. I'm sorry I can't remember that actor's name, but he had like no time to actually learn the choreography. And if you watch that scene, it's trash. Like, here's here's a Star Wars thing that most of y'all brats, fucking Star Wars nerds have not thought of. And that's the fact that when you get a limb removed by a lightsaber... That's fucking light, right? It's heat. It's a fucking heat ray in the form of a sword, okay? You get a limb removed from it, buy it, buy one, and that actually immediately cauterizes the wound so that it doesn't even bleed so you can fucking keep fighting, okay? <laughs> but we didn't get that really fucking cool-ass, dope-ass scene, and I feel so bad for the fight choreographers and the stud double that they didn't get to do that because Lucas showed up and was like, oh, we're going to do it my way. What a bummer. I'm sure that a lot of that happened in the Avatar movies. I'm sure that that's going to continue to happen in the Avatar movies. I saw a video of Cameron being like, oh yeah, I sent the script to the studio and they just loved it. I promise you, if I worked at that studio, I would have given him some fucking notes, and I don't care how fucking good that script was, because like I said, he can't fucking write dialogue. Okay? He can't. Sorry. I'm sorry. I also didn't know that Chris Nolan, like, spent $100,000 to create a cornfield for Inception. When, like, I promise you there was a cornfield of any size he wanted already existing in Canada where he was shooting. Like, you know what? This is such a conundrum because while I understand the, the, um, the issues we have with saying no to directors, I also understand the issues we have with not saying no to directors but we gotta start saying no to them because they're just sort of out of control um i used to have this roommate and we were living in la when uh inception came out or shortly thereafter and he was joking i don't know what we were saying about about chris nolan i don't remember what exactly was being said but we were saying like <laughs> They probably have someone sucking his dick because that's what he wants. <laughs> and like, am I, am I wrong? Am I wrong though? Am I wrong? 
Um, listen. What I love about Cameron is the movies he makes. Obviously, what I actually meant to say there was that what I love about Nolan is like Can you guys name another movie that's come out recently that people want to watch as frequently as Dark Knight? I'll wait. Because I just, I feel like Dark Knight has just so much watchability. And this is something that just goes completely unsaid. Like, I will, I could watch Dark Knight tonight. I could watch Dark Knight tomorrow. I could watch Dark Knight the day after that. I could watch Dark Knight next week. And I wouldn't be mad about it. Like, I love that movie. And people love that movie. And they want to watch it again and again and again, is my point. I also want to watch Dark Knight Rises again and again and again. Honestly, I prefer Dark Knight Rises, in all seriousness, okay? Quote me! I do. I do. I prefer... I love Dark Knight. Love it. Y'all have seen me play the Dark Knight theme on my 128-year-old piano, and I'll play it again. But, like, I love Dark Knight Rises because it's awesome. I don't know if I want to make this video right now. I have a lot to say about this, but um, I'm, I'm getting off topic like I always do. Shocker. I am, in fact, worried about the direction of the current Avatar movies because I don't really think that the second one was an improvement from the first one. So I feel like the third one's going to be worse. And then the fourth one is going to be worse. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? Um, that was all I wanted to say about that. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I want to say more, though. Um, yeah. I guess that's all I wanted to say. I still love you. Goodbye.